All right, we're talking about quiz 23 uh, from the textbook, page 421, problem 117. A taut string, so a tight string, is fixed at both ends, uh, and the ends are 0 0.5 meters apart. It is then set into resonance, so it's excited in a way that uh, uh, is characteristic for its geometry. Uh, one way to think about resonance. And we're doing the sixth harmonic. Determine the wavelength of the oscillation and draw the standing wave pattern. So we have a couple of equations that we know we can use. Uh, velocity equals frequency times wavelength for a wave. And, and we know that a standing wave is, uh, is one wave traveling one direction on the string and another wave traveling the other direction on the string. And there's a special condition about how those, uh, how those waves combine on a string of length L. L equals N over 2 uh, times lambda. So the length of the wave has to contain N. Uh, half wavelengths. So we talked about this in the video. And in particular, in this case, n equals 6. It's the sixth harmonic. Uh, the first harmonic is also called the fundamental. So this is basically five uh, octaves above the harmonic. Sorry, above the fundamental. Okay. And so the question is, what is wavelength? So lambda equals what? Uh, in this case, too, we know that L, the length of this string, and it's fixed at both ends. So let me draw a dark line here, fixed at both ends. A normal string would just be flat. This string uh, is in the sixth harmonic. That means there are six humps, so to speak. And at one point, a hump that's up over time will eventually become a hump that goes down. And so that's why it looks like it kind of fills this space. So let me see if I can get this here. So we've got three that have to fit in every half. So I need to divide this into thirds. I think I've got this pretty well. All right. I was going to say that L, the length of the string, equals 0 0.5 meters. And so. Solving for lambda. Keep your eyes on the ball. 2 times L over N equals lambda. And so uh, if lambda equals 2 times 0 0.5 meters divided by N equals 6, then we basically have equals uh, 1.0 divided by 6. So lambda equals 1 sixth. Uh, one six. Get my calculator out. I think it's zero point one six 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 six. Yeah. So this equals zero point one six seven meters. So about sixteen centimeters. So that's the wavelength of the oscillator, and then we have to draw the standing wave pattern. Let me get my color out here. Let's draw a green. So there's a wave which has a maximum here, and then a minimum here. And then there's another wave that has a maximum here, and a minimum here. And then there's another wave that has a maximum here, and a minimum here. So that basically is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 half wavelengths. This is 0 0.5. And we know that that's three wavelengths. We also know that there's a wave traveling in the opposite direction, and it simultaneously is going to, um, at various times, make either the whole string go to zero or flip that max, this max here to a min, that min there to a max, and that max there to a min, etc. And so this basically is going to be uh, oscillating. Uh, or pulsating or breathing kind of in time. So let me draw kind of these intermediate ones. These are intermediate waves that you will see as the string kind of pulsates.
a standing wave. And I meant to draw those all the same size, but that's basically it. That's the standing wave pattern. So this is the standing wave pattern. Now for extra credit, uh, just a quick hint, uh, we're going to use another equation that I wrote on this, uh, and I have given everyone a different meters per second, somewhere between 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a resonant frequency somewhere between the first, second, third, uh, fourth, fifth harmonic or so. So look, at, look for your numbers here that you're going to use, and you'll get your answers. Then... Uh, for this one, you have to think back to a video we watched, which talks about um, how waves combine on the string to get an idea of this extra credit answer. Okay, thanks for listening.